Imagine living in a world controlled by numbers attached to your body. And once the number reaches zero, you will be sent into the abyss. The story begins with a girl named Hina. She lives in a post-apocalyptic town called Alsia, where the people all have numbers attached to their body, which can represent anything about that person's life. For example, the amount of times you helped someone out, or the amount of times you got cheated on, or even how many times you were rejected by a girl. Five years ago Hina was watching her mother being taken into the abyss because her number dropped to a zero, and the last thing she told her daughter was to find the guy called the legendary ace, and gives her a glass orb, with the number 10,000 inside it. Hina is talking to her friends about the legendary ace, when suddenly a masked man appears out of nowhere, and scares her friends away. The man introduces himself as Lick Bok, a very mysterious and strange guy, who starts to look at Hina's number, as it was placed right on the side of her thigh. He tries getting a closer look, so she kicked him and then she runs away. Lick chases after her and then she gets help from a girl called Nana. She seems to know who Lick is and tells him to leave her alone. Nana owns a restaurant and offers Hina some food and asks for her name. So she writes her name down in Chinese, which impresses Nana. Nana goes on to ask Hina where her parents are. And she told Nana that her mother was dragged into the ground and she didn't understand what happened. So Nana explains to Hina that everyone in this city has a number on their body. And the numbers are what control their world. From the moment they're born, they're all obligated to have a number which will count a specific thing about their life. She tells Hina that her number, which currently marks 77, is how many times people told her her food was delicious. And when they say it's bad, the number will decrease. She asks Hina about her number, which marks 441. And Lick tries getting a closer look, so Nana threw him away, sending him flying into the trees. She goes on to ask Hina what her number represents, to which she replies, saying that her mother told her that her number is the distance she's walked, and it goes up one after every 100 kilometers. She tells Nana that she's always walking, because she's been searching for a guy known as the legendary ace her whole life. Nana tells her that there's one more important thing about the numbers, which is a rule that you cannot disobey a person who has a higher number than you. She tells her that it's basically like a social status and to always remember this important rule. Suddenly, some guards appear, and one of the guards named Sergeant Davy has a number on his face, but with a star next to it. And he told Hina that he is the legendary ace she's been searching for. She begins to cry as she's been waiting for this moment her whole life. Then the man who claimed to be the legendary ace takes Hina, and he tries getting closer with her. But she stops him by distracting him with the mysterious orb her mother left her. But when she pulls out the orb, they all get stunned, and the guards all draw for their swords. The sergeant also gets up and asks her to hand over the ball. But when she refuses, the guy gets mad and warns Hina, but she tells him that because she has a higher count than him, he can't attack her, and must obey her commands. So he immediately stops, and listens to her orders. But right after, he tells Hina that he will bet on his stars against her, and asks Hina for a star stick, which is what they call a duel, and whoever wins will take the count from the loser, and it will be added to their own count. And this is the only way the sergeant can avoid listening to her orders. Hina has to accept the duel, otherwise she will be instantly sent to the abyss. They have a duel, but she surrenders easily as she's not a fighter, and giving the win to the sergeant. Then the hands come out of the ground and take away Hina's number, leaving her at only a one. They give the number to the sergeant which gets added onto his own, since he was the winner of the duel. Hina is confused and scared, and doesn't understand why the legendary ace would do such a thing. Then he reveals to Hina that he was faking this whole time, and admits that he's not the real legendary ace, and he was lying all this time to cheat Hina for the orb. But before he could steal the orb, suddenly Licht appears to save Hina. He shows the sergeant his number on his hand, which is a negative 999, and Lick challenges the sergeant to a star stake. The sergeant starts laughing and says why would he duel with someone with a negative number. The sergeant feels insulted that such a low number would ask such a thing, so he begins to attack Licht. But while fighting, his companions warn him that he's fighting someone with a negative count, which isn't normal, as any other normal person would hit zero and then be instantly taken into the abyss. He suddenly realizes this and stops the fight to ask who he is. Then Licht pulls out his sword revealing his second number, which is 5,700 with a star next to it and Hina realizes he is the real legendary ace that her mother wanted her to find. The sergeant doesn't believe he's a real legendary ace, and tells him he's bluffing, and that all the aces were gone 300 years ago. The sergeant convinces all his guards that he must be a fake ace, so they start to attack Licht. Then Licht tells Hina to close her eyes, and he uses his super flash speed ability, 
which cracks the ground and takes out the guards. The sergeant is shocked and can't believe he's now challenging a real legendary ace. Lick demands the sergeant to give the number back that he stole from Hina. However, the sergeant tries one last time to defeat Lick and uses all his strength, as he's known as the greatest swordsman in the town. But Lick simply dodges all his moves like it's nothing. While fighting the sergeant, Nana was serving food to a customer who asked her what the noise was, and she tells him it's the legendary ace. She explains that a legendary ace has two numbers, and licked his 5,700 on his blade, which represents the amount of foes he's slain in battle. But the other number given to him on his hand counts the amount of times he's been rejected by women, which is minus 999. She goes on to explain that the legendary aces emerged around 300 years ago to fight a battle known as the Waste War, and they were marked with white shining stars, and possess abilities far greater than any regular human warrior. Licht wins the duel with the sergeant, and the hands from the abyss come out of the ground to take the sergeant's number, and gave it all to Hina, which makes her really happy. But right after that, Lick stole the orb that her mother gave her, and told her he can sell it for a fortune. He told her this orb is known as a ballot which is a powerful orb, used to increase someone's power. She asks him why he would do that to her, and he said perhaps I'm not the legendary ace you're looking for, since there are others known as aces besides him. He drops a doll on the floor and told her he will give this in exchange for the ballot. Then he flies away, abandoning Hina. So a sad Hina starts walking back to the village and meets Nana at the restaurant. She begins to cry and tells Nana she can't believe the legendary ace would do something like this. Then Nana told her to open the doll that Lick gave her, and to her surprise the ballot was actually inside the doll. Nana told Hina that Lick plundered the ballot from her only to protect her from the Alcian law, which states that you cannot own a ballot, and she would have been branded a criminal in the eyes of the law, and would have been hunted down by the guards who knew about it. Lick knew she wouldn't last long unless he acted like he was the one who took the ballot, but he quickly stuffed it inside the doll for Hina, so she would eventually find it. After finding out his real intentions, she quickly runs after him before he leaves the city, while shouting out his name. But she was too late as Lick was already too far away, then she begins to cry, saying how she hates him and that he's a liar. At this moment, Lick's number changes from minus 999 to minus 1000. After some days passed, we are introduced to two other characters named Sergeant Lin Mei and Sergeant Peel, who are currently searching for the legendary ace, as he is wanted by the law. Lin is a somewhat clumsy girl and her number represents the amount of times she's helped other people, so she's constantly helping as many people as she can. She normally goes around helping those in need. After, her partner Peel tells her that the more important thing right now is this criminal who is still at large, and goes by the name Licht Bach. The description states he is a legendary ace who will most likely disguise himself with an unusual mask. A few moments later, they were walking through the town, and come across Licht, who was wearing a strange mask and dressed up like a dessert. Lin walks over and told Lick she knows who he is, but he promises it's not him in the poster, and convinces Lin by saying that the mask he's wearing is completely different from the one in the poster. He then tells her that he wears a mask because he's been rejected by 1,000 women, and can't bear to look another woman in the eyes. So Peel tells Lin that this is a chance for her to increase her count, by going on a date with Licht. So they spend the day together holding hands and having a meal. And the more Licht enjoys himself, the higher Lin's number will increase. Then suddenly, Peel stops the date, and told Lin the guy there with is definitely the legendary ace. As the number on his hand is minus 1000, and any other normal person can't be in the minus numbers because once they hit zero they will be sent to the abyss. Lin realizes this, then takes the mask off Licht which reveals he is the man on the poster. So she begins to kick Licht but he easily dodges all her moves and quickly escapes. Later on, Hina is talking to Nana, and tells Nana she wants to go searching for Licht. Then suddenly a man appears. He's a lieutenant of the Royal Guards from Alsia, called Jail Murdoch. He told Nana to tell him where Licht is, or they will be arrested. So she told him he went east, and so the troops begin their search to find the legendary ace. Soon the lieutenant finds Licht, and tries to apprehend him but he breaks free and begins to fight all the guards. Obviously Licht wins the fight pretty easily by using his abilities. Then right after, the lieutenant tells his men to stand down. He then asks Lin to explain to everyone what a ballot holder is, and why they want him arrested. So she explains that a ballot is a ball with an illegal count and those who hold a ballot can obtain special abilities. For instance the lieutenant is a ballot holder who can do iron manipulation. He can create iron objects to use in combat situations 
such as iron spikes and structures to use to his advantage. But the strength of the ballot's ability depends on the current count on your body, and Licht expresses how Jail's count is only 900, and his count is at 57-0, so it wouldn't be wise to fight him. But Jail doesn't care, and begins to attack Licht with his iron abilities. After seeing Jail's powers, Licht uses his super speed to confuse him and tries to escape. But Jail also teleports into the sky, and takes out Licht with a gigantic iron tower. After knocking down Licht, Jail removes his fake count on his hand, revealing that his true number is actually at 12,500. Then a massive battle takes place between Licht and the lieutenant, and both of them have extremely powerful abilities. Jail takes this opportunity to show his true powers, but after their massive duel, Licht eventually escapes. Later on, Licht is strolling along the meadows and is seen wearing a bird mask and is greeted by Hina who says she's been searching for him everywhere. While they were talking on the field, out of nowhere a bird-shaped object flies by, and they both notice it's a girl who was flying the bird. But things went wrong, as she almost crashed into the cliffs. But luckily Licht saves her just in time by using his flying ability. And the girl's dream comes true, because her whole life she's wanted to be able to fly. She asks Licht how he was able to fly, and he replies saying he can't fly and that he just knows how to jump higher than other people. She tells Licht and Hina that her name is Pelmo, and her whole life she's dedicated it to finding a way to be able to fly. After, Licht educates her on the Alcyon law that states you cannot attempt flying in Alcia. But Pelmo tells Licht that she doesn't care about the laws, and that she wants to pursue her dreams, as it means more to her than anything else. She completes our final design for her next flying machine, and asks Licht and Hina if they would like to do a test flight. But right at that moment, the royal guards are seen approaching them, so Licht quickly broke the machine to prevent them seeing it and saving Pelmo. After the guards leave, Licht and Hina offer Pelmo to help her build another flying machine, but she told them it's already too late, and her count drops from 1 to a 0, and she gets taken into the abyss. While getting dragged into the abyss, she explains that her count is based on her dream coming true, but since she's failed to fly once again, this time her number reached zero. They both attempt to save her, but the hands stop them so Lick tries slicing the hands but it only damages himself and she still gets dragged into the abyss. Some time passes, and Lick and Hina are still together, and they are walking around the town markets, and there they end up meeting Lin. She approaches Lick and thanks him for saving her when she fell off the mountain, but right after she tries to arrest him, Lick attempts to escape. But soon came the lieutenant and they begin to fight in the streets. But soon they are interrupted by Nana who tells them they can't fight in the town, or they will end up destroying the whole city. After the fight, the lieutenant was notified about a town being under attack so he visits the area, and to his surprise the whole place has been wiped out. A survivor tells Jail what had happened here, and he explains that the town's lake has turned into a swirling pit of darkness, and that a demon rose from the lake and started attacking the city. Suddenly a noise was heard from the hole, and they all get ready to fight the demon. But it turns out that the demon they thought was attacking the town was actually a modern military helicopter, something they've never seen before, as this helicopter is a vehicle from far in the future, and they're all trying to understand what it is and how to stop it. Jail protects everyone with his iron barrier, and Lick tells everyone in the town to run. Lick then begins to attack the helicopter, but to his surprise, the hands of the abyss sprout from the ground and start helping the helicopter. They all seem to be targeting Licht, and this is because they now see him as a threat for slicing the hands when he was trying to save Pelmo. So now they see him as the enemy. The hands realize that the chopper is also the real threat and try their best to take it down, but they can't seem to reach it, and every time Lick tries to get close to it they block him. The lieutenant tells Hina he can't help him, because attacking the hands of the abyss is breaking the rules, and he would be instantly sent to the abyss. We see that Lick is having a hard time going against the hands in the helicopter, so then the lieutenant finally gives in and decides to help him. But when they defeat the chopper, a girl appears from the abyss named Sonohara, and she refers to Lick as her commander. The lieutenant jail asks Sonohara who she is, but she instantly shot him, leaving him badly injured. Hina is shocked and asks who she is, and she tells everyone that she's another one of the legendary aces. And a long time ago Licht was her commander, who ordered her to kill people, so she continues to follow his commands even till this day. But Licht tells her it's wrong and tries to stop her, but she tells Licht that she has a power where she can control the bullets, moving them in any direction she wants, and they sneak up behind him and Licht falls to the ground. After he falls, Sonohara's soldiers show up, and hold them all hostage while Licht is still laying on the ground. He eventually gets back up, and Sonohara begs Licht to turn back into the real plunderer. But Licht refuses, and tells her to let them all go. However she declines his request, and says that if he doesn't turn back she will take them all out. Right before she eliminates them, Licht takes out all the guards in under a millisecond and reveals to everyone that his real name is the plunderer, 
and saves all his friends. Sonohara gets excited to see the real legendary ace, and they bet on their stars in a star stake. Sonohara's count is at 32,000, while Lix is only 5,700, making her the stronger opponent. But Peel knew about the legends of aces and their true power, and tells everyone that Lick is actually hiding his true power. At this moment Lick turns into the real legendary ace, and we see him transform into a soulless demon, whose only objective is to eliminate all his enemies. We see his sword count being boosted all the way up to 57,000. After, Licht easily wins the duel with Sonohara, and just before he finishes her off with his final strike, the lieutenant gets in the way and saves her. At this moment Licht has completely lost all his sanity and seems to think everyone around him is his enemy, so he begins to use all his power to fight Lieutenant Jail. But the lieutenant surprises him by unleashing his full maximum strength with his iron ability, and creates an iron demon monster which he can control to fight Licht while he's in the legendary ace form. Jail manages to knock Licht out unconscious, and when he wakes up he's now back to his normal self, and tells everyone he's sorry for what he'd done to them. After the fight with Licht, Jail visits the Supreme Commander, named Alexandrov Grigorovich, who's in charge of all guards in Alsia, and also the father of Jail. But they are not related by blood as he was adopted by Alexandrov when he was younger. Jail begins to ask him some questions about Licht, and how he was able to change the count on his sword all by himself. Then the Supreme Commander told Jail that the aces have the ability to change their count by themselves, because they were especially made this way, during an experiment 300 years ago in the Waste War. And they were all boosted to synchronize with ballots, and they done this by using surgery. He explains that they are a squad of unstoppable beings, and Lichtbach was the leader of all the aces, and is a threat to everyone including their soldiers. So after hearing what the Supreme Commander just told him, Jail goes to confront Licht about it, and tries to arrest him. But Nana told Jail not to listen to the commander, as Licht is not the real threat here, and how they've made it this far by believing in Licht. She then reveals to everyone that she's also a legendary ace, and sends them 300 years in the past so they can see what really happened. While being teleported, she tells them to try and change what happened, and that it's the only way he will be able to save his men. When they enter the world from 300 years ago, everything is totally different from what they're used to, and they are standing outside a school where they see Sonohara. And we also see Lick but Sonohara calls him by his real name, which is actually Rihito Sakai, and he no longer has his white hair and is also younger. However they are all unsure whether it's really Licked. So they all enter the high school, and Jail is amazed how the technology in this world is far superior to the tech they have in Alsia despite it being 300 years in the past, and they all come to realize that the world from the past was actually a modernized world, with electricity and water taps. They then enter the school halls, and Hina gets pushed by a student named Duan Takatora. Lin tries to help her but also gets hit by Duan, so Jail confronts him, but realizes he no longer has the ballot and all his powers are gone. Sanohara tells Duan to stop fighting, but he doesn't listen. Then another student appears and tells Duan to leave them alone, his name is Sakai Takakazi, and is the brother of Rihito. They also confirm that Rihito Sakai is in fact licked, as he is still attracted to Hina, just like in the other world. But all of a sudden, one of the instructors of the school named Alan, tells them that they are now all soldiers part of a war, and then a girl named Fyrnda, explains to all the students that their whole nation is in danger due to a large food shortage, and this is causing deaths of many people. After saying this, the supreme director named Bok Schumerman, comes out and starts to read a poem, to test all the students, and see who can follow orders. After reading part of the poem, some of the students begin to laugh, so Bach told them to stop laughing, but the students didn't stop, so the director walks over and shoots the three who were still laughing. The others get scared, and try to escape the hall, but then Bach explains that this was a necessary training exercise to see who can follow orders in serious times. After, Bach tells Rahito to break his neck, or he will eliminate Hina and he's once again only doing this as a test to see how far they would go. But Rihito tells him he won't do it. And after hearing this, everyone from the future knew it was Licht, as he would have said the same thing. After, the director uses his power to see Licht's intent to kill, but the test doesn't affect him as Licht is still standing. After that, he told them it was all a test, and the director was using paintballs instead of bullets, and then the three students got up. The reason he does these tests is to essentially create a team of the strongest students, who he can use to eliminate all his enemies for him, instead of doing it himself. And this is how the origin of how the legendary aces were created. Bach called it the Ace Project, and they begin to do surgical tests on rats by increasing their violent tendencies. Then Bach pulls out a ballot, an orb that came from out of space, 
and is known as alien technology, and whoever possesses it will increase all their abilities and be able to alter the laws of physics, and do things that no other man will be able to do. So Bok tells Fyrnda to give the ballot to the rat, and we see that the rat has turned completely insane and has incredible overpowered strengths and is also as fast as the speed of light. Jail was watching them do the experiment and gets caught, but luckily a young Nana saves him. He then finds out from the young Nana that the Nana from the future wanted him to prevent the surgery being done on Licht and stop the directors from forming the legendary aces. She also tells him she was the first ever legendary ace and her real ability is time travel so she can communicate with her older self from Alcia. After talking with Nana, he leaves the room and a director named Alexandrov tells Jail that he knows he's not from their world, to which Jail replies saying he's the lieutenant from the future in a town called Alcia, and he was the one who trained him into the lieutenant. After, we see the same experiments are being done on Licht and the Major Bach himself as he wanted to become one of the legendary aces, and there was a total of seven aces. After the experiment, Licht wakes up, and now has white hair and red eyes, just like before, but the Major hasn't responded well to the surgery. So before he dies he gives Licht his special sword, which is not any ordinary sword as this is in fact a ballot but in the form of a sword which he can use to boost all his powers at any given time. The students outside are with the soldiers who threaten them, but Licht came outside just in time to save them, and we see that he has all kinds of special powers and abilities, far beyond anything they've ever seen before. They're then transported back to 300 years in the future, and Hina realizes that they can't change Licht's fate, as he was always destined to be the legendary ace, and she starts to cry and tells him to try and hold on to this moment for 300 years until they meet again and then they fade back into their world while she's screaming out to Licht, and begs him to remember her. During the 300 years, they use Licht as their own lethal weapon, and he takes out several armies and many enemy troops all around the world. But Licht is still aware of what they've done to him, and tries going against the other aces, until he ends up fighting another legendary ace who ends up being Dwan from high school. He blames Licht for changing his ways and trying to go against them, so they have a battle and they both show their maximum abilities. However Dwan gets help from Sonohara, and Nana tells Dwan to stop fighting Licht, as he's not the one in the wrong. However Dwan wouldn't listen, and uses his final combo attack on Licht. But Licht manages to defeat Dwan, saving Hina and the rest of his friends. We then see Hina and Licht back in the future together and the story ends here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time guys, take care.